Hi, I'm Kristen Robinson and welcome to my yoga class. Today we are going to begin by sitting in a simple cross-legged position. If you find that your knees are really elevated, go ahead and grab a yoga block or a blanket to help elevate your hips and allow your knees to fall below the hips. So let's begin to sit up nice and tall. Open your heart, so allow your collarbones to broaden, shoulders draw together, chin tucks in slightly to elongate the back of the neck. Lengthen up through the crown of your head and just begin to close your eyes. Take some nice deep breaths into the belly and exhale. So allow your shoulders to stay, to stay soft down your back. Breathing in. Breathing out. Fix your gaze at your third eye center with your eyes closed. So your gaze turns slightly in and up. Breathing in. Breathing out. Just allow your breathing to return to normal. Just take a moment to scan your body, noticing if you are holding tension in any area. Noticing the quality of your thoughts. If your mind is racing or if your mind is calm. Noticing if your breath is fast or if it's smooth and steady. Just noticing everything without judgment. Just a lot arriving fully present in your body in this moment. And just take note. Let's begin to draw our hands together at our heart. Tuning into your intention for your practice today. Why are you here? What do you wish to call into your life? Or what is it that you are ready to release and let go of? And if this resonates with you, this uh, intention or mantra can be used throughout your practice. And you can also take it throughout your days when you're feeling maybe a little rundown or a little anxious or feeling like you're starting to come um, show signs of illness. So I love this mantra and it goes like this. I am at peace and my body is healthy and strong. I am at peace and my body is healthy and strong. I am at peace and my body is healthy and strong. And just notice how those words resonate in your body. And if there was any change in the quality of your being after repeating them. So let's begin our asana practice. So we are going to work on finding peace in our body, in our mind, while gaining strength and health through this. So I love yoga because it helps to detoxify our whole body and it's really just um, stimulating the um, acupressure meridians and um, helping an overall sense of um, finding balance in the body and, and well-being and detoxification as well as um, strength 
and mental focus and but most importantly work on finding compassion for yourself and peace all right let's start in hands and knees tabletop position we'll begin to do some cat cow so inhale look forward let your belly lower exhale tuck your chin round your spine inhaling let your belly drop arch your back and look up exhale round the spine tuck your chin once again let's do this two more times at your own pace moving with the breath Coming back to tabletop, we'll leave our hips and knees right where they are and we'll just walk our arms forward coming into puppy dog pose, Anahata Asana, melting your chin down to the floor, taking some nice deep breaths here, opening up the shoulders. And coming up inhale and exhale we'll just lower our hips and we'll come all the way down to the mat plant your palms right underneath your shoulders press the tops of the toes into the floor legs draw together inhale lift your heart for cobra tuck your chin and draw your shoulder blades together exhale lower we'll do that two more times inhale tuck your chin and unravel into cobra exhale lower inhale lift your heart exhale lower inhale press up into all fours and then curl your toes under and we'll come into downward facing dog so just start to pedal out the feet warming up the backs of the legs Pressing into the palms and then bringing your heels down to the ground, letting them relax. Press your, into your hands, press the mat away, shake your head side to side. Just release any tension in the neck, let your head totally relax. Let your heels surrender down to the floor. Draw your thighs back. Tighten up the thighs here. So really press the back of your thighs up towards the ceiling. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale, look forward and walk your feet to your hands. We'll come to ragdoll. Grab opposite elbows and just take a few minutes to rock side to side. Just Releasing your back here, releasing the head, the neck. And then slowly roll on up. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Feeling your feet rooting down into the ground as the crown of your head lengthens up towards the sky. Press into your hands and feel your thumbs um, pressing into your sternum. Inhale, reach the arms up, look up at your palms, join the palms together. Exhale, open up the hands and float forward. Just bend your knees here. Inhale, come up halfway, flat back. And we'll step the right leg back. We'll bring the right knee down. And just bring your hands on top of your left knee here. We'll just warm up nice and slow. So letting the hips draw towards the ground, press into your hands and roll your shoulders back. Lift your heart up here. Inhale, exhale, bring the hands down, curl the right toes under and step the left leg back, downward facing dog. Breathe in here. Breathe out, and as you breathe out, press your chest towards your thighs. 
gaining length in the spine. We're going to bend our knees and inhale, come through to high plank, shoulders over your wrist. Tighten up your thighs and drop, like isometrically, draw your toes in towards your palms of your hand. That's going to um, start to fire up the lower belly and it's going to protect your lower back from just sagging here in high plank. So draw your toes towards your palms of your hand. Tighten up your thighs, look forward, and bend your knees. Bend the elbows halfway so they brush your rib cage. Lower your hips and lower your belly. Inhale, come up to cobra pose. Heart draws together, or heart lifts and shoulder blades draw together, chin tucks in. Exhale, let's press it back. Downward facing dog. We're gonna step that right foot forward between our hands, look forward. And then exhale, let the left foot join the right, folding in. Inhale, reach it all the way up, look at your palms. Exhale. Bring your hands into your heart, connecting to your intention, even the mantra, I am at peace and my body is healthy and strong. Inhale, reach your arms up, look up. Exhale, float forward, folding in. Inhale, halfway lift. Let your sternum reach forward and lengthen from tailbone to the crown of your head. Shoulder blades draw together here. Inhale, exhale, we'll step that left leg back, bring the left knee down. Take your hands on top of your right knee. Start to lower your hips to the ground and roll your shoulder blades together, lifting your heart up. Just breathing here. Letting gravity draw your hips down to the ground. Let's bring our hands down to the ground. Inhale, curl the left toes under. Exhale, right foot meets the left in downward facing dog. Feel your palms pressing into the mat. Let your head relax. Tops of the thighs draw back. Inhale, roll to high plank. So draw your feet towards the palm of your hands to start to initiate the abdominal muscles to contract, stabilizing your lower back. Shift forward onto your tippy toes and start to bend the elbows halfway for Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up to upward facing dog, rolling over the tops of the toes. Press firmly into the toes, lift the kneecaps, and lift through your heart. Chin draws slightly in, inhale, and then exhale, take it back, downward facing dog. If at any point you need to lower your knees down in downward facing dog, or um, when we come through to high plank and lower down for chaturanga, please do so. You want to protect your lower back. You don't want to be... Um, dipping, letting your belly abdominal muscles sag, and then you're going to put a lot of pressure on your lower back. So I'd rather you have your knees down and protecting your lower back. So just honor your body, honor where you're at. All right, downward facing dog. Let's take the left foot forward, coming to a lunge, and we'll let the right meet the left and folding in. Inhale, reach it up, and exhale, hands to our heart. All right, we'll take, we'll take it through that sequence once again, and we'll move a little bit faster. So inhale, look up, exhale, open and fold. Inhale, lift halfway, exhale, right leg steps back. Inhale, let's take the arms up this time, let the hips draw down to the ground, lift through your heart. Roll the shoulders back, breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, look up, exhale, your hands come down, 
Take it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forward to a high plank. Tighten the belly. Come onto the tippy toes. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step that right foot forward to a lunge. And exhale, let the left meet the right and fold. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, your hands to your heart. Inhale up. Exhale, full breath and fold. Inhale deeply. Exhale, step it back. Inhale up. Exhale, lower the hips and lift the heart. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, plant the hands, curl the left toes under, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll through to plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step the left foot to meet the, step the left foot forward, inhale. Exhale, right foot to left, folding in. Inhale, exhale. Good, we'll take a moment, catching your breath. We're gonna add on to that. Here we go, inhale, bend the knees. Reach your fingertips to brush the floor and then reach your arms up for chair pose. Let your tailbone draw down, lifting your heart up towards the ground. Turn your pinkies slightly in. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, lift through your heart. Exhale, straighten out your legs and fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, we'll step that right leg back, take the right knee down. Inhale, reach the arms up, sink your hips down. Exhale, take the elbows together. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale. Inhale, the palms come towards the ground. Curl the right toes under. And exhale, step the left foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll through to high plank. Exhale to chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale, take it back, downward facing dog. Let's take that right leg up to a down dog split. Make sure your right hip is equal with the left. Press through the hands and relax the left heel down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw your right knee into your chest, shoulders over your wrist. Inhale, lengthen up through that right leg. Exhale, draw the right knee into your chest, shoulders over your wrist. One more time, take it up. Down dog split. Exhale. Let's step the right foot forward. Make it up to high lunge here. So come on to the ball of the left foot, really press down through the ball of the left foot. Make sure that your right knee is right over your right ankle. Inhale, we're gonna squeeze our inner thighs together. Exhale, we're gonna open it up to a twist. So hugging in here with your inner thighs as you reach the arms out. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, take the hands down. Now we're gonna come up to a standing forward, standing split. Take that left leg up to the ground, relax your head down. Folding over the right leg, lengthen up through the left foot. Inhale, look up. Let's take it back to a lunge. Bring that left knee down, inhale up, Anjaneyasana. Let's come up out of Anjaneyasana. So we're, we're bending the, the um, right knee, 
Bring your hands to your heart. Inhale and exhale. Take that left knee over the right, sorry, take the left elbow over the right knee. So we're coming to a twist. Our prayer hands come to our heart. You can stay here or curl the left toes under, taking it into a full twist here. Gazing over the right shoulder, really press firmly into that left leg, rolling the right shoulder back, breathing in, breathing out, inhale, exhale, let's take it down, back to downward facing dog, good job. Pedal out your feet and take the hips back, downward facing dog. Inhale, step the feet forward between the hands, look up and exhale, folding in. Inhale, let's take it to chair pose once again. Sink your hips down, reach up through your palms. And then exhale, your hands to your heart. Good, let's take it through the other side. So inhale, bend your knees, sweep your fingertips to the floor and then reach your arms up. Breathing in, breathing out. Let your tailbone lower, hug your legs together and lift up through your heart. Inhale, exhale, straighten out your legs folding over your legs. Inhale, look forward, and exhale, we'll step the left leg back. We'll come up to a, oh, I already did that. Sorry guys, let's take it back, downward facing dog. We already did high lunge on the left side. Let's step, step the left foot forward, my bad. Coming up to high lunge, press through the right leg, the ball of the right foot. Hug your inner thighs together here, inhale, and exhale, twisting to the left. Squeeze the inner thighs together and breathe. Inhale, exhale, one more time. Good, let's come through back to a Lunge, and then let's take a step it back, downward facing dog. Option yours is here. You can take it through a vinyasa or stay in downward facing dog. Inhale to high plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Good, breathing in. Breathing out. Let's take that left leg up to a down dog split. Relaxing the right heel down, bringing the toes up towards the sky. Find a lot of length here, inhale. Exhale, draw the left knee into your chest, shoulders over your wrist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee into your chest. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee into your chest. And then lift your hips up really high. Step your left foot forward. Inhale, look up. And then exhale, lift that right leg up towards the sky, folding over your left leg for a down dog, for a standing split. Inhale, exhale. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, lower that right leg back to a lunge, and we'll take the right knee down. Inhale up, Anjaneyasana. Draw the hips down, lift your heart. All right, let's come up now. Come out of the lunge a little bit, so making the right, the left shin perpendicular to the floor. Inhale your hands to your heart. And then exhale, take the right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Draw your palms together at your heart. 
Draw the left shoulder back, taking it to a lunge with prayer twist. And if you want to take it further, curl the right toes under, press down into the ball of the right foot, really tighten up your right leg and holding it here for a twist. Keep drawing that left shoulder back. Breathe in and breathe out. Take your hands to frame your left foot and let's step it back, downward facing dog. Let's come on to our knees and we'll just take it into a child's pose. Catching your breath. Let your hips settle down towards your heels. Good. Let's inhale up to tabletop and then curl the toes under for downward facing dog. Let's inhale that right leg up to the sky. Exhale the right knee to your right elbow. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, right knee to your right elbow. Shoulders over your wrist. One more time. Inhale up, down dog split. Exhale, right knee to your right elbow, shoulders over your wrist. Step the right foot to the outside of the right palm. So from here, we're coming to lizard pose. You're gonna wanna hug the right knee into the right arm and go ahead and lower that left knee down. So you can just take it into a more restorative lizard where you maybe come on down to your forearms and turn the right toes out slightly getting a little bit deeper into the hip or if you want to make it a little more active you can curl the left toes under reach your heart forward here and if being down on your forearms is too much can always stay up on your palms. Whatever phase you're in, know that your body is healthy and strong. Inhale, exhale. Now we're gonna all come up to our palms. We're gonna step that right leg back downward facing dog. Let's take the right leg up towards the sky, open up the right hip. So we're going to bend the right knee, stack the right hip on top of the left. Now you can stay here or we're gonna flip this position and we're going to let the right foot fall behind us. We're gonna pivot our hips up towards the sky, reach the heart up and then reach the right arm overhead for a wild thing. And then slowly make your way out very carefully coming to downward facing dog. So very, very mindful and careful. Let's walk, I'll walk you through that one more time. So down dog split, bend the right knee, stack the right hip on top of the left. Look at your right foot under your left arm. Slowly start to pivot the left toes, the left toes forward, bring the right foot down to the ground, turn your heart up to the sky, and then express up from there, pressing into your feet, reaching your right hand overhead. And then slowly, Carefully make your way out. Woo. 
beautiful. Downward facing dog. All right, let's take it to the left side. Inhale, lengthen the left leg up. Exhale, left knee to your left elbow. Inhale, extend, down dog split. Exhale, left knee to your left elbow. Inhale, one more time, take it up. Exhale, left knee, left elbow, and then step that left foot to the outside of the left palm. Hug the left knee in towards your body. Reach your heart forward. Come on to your palms here. So option to lower the right knee down and stay here. Just working on opening up your hip. Or you can bring your forearms down to the floor if that is available to you. And you can stay here or curl the right toes under and make it a little bit more active in the legs. Wherever you are, it's all good. Just listening and honoring your body. Pressing down. If you're on your forearms, just keep your forearms pressing down. Your heart is lifted. Good, now we're gonna all come up to our palms. We're gonna step it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, press your chest towards your thighs. Good, let's take that left leg up, down dog split. We're gonna bend the left knee and stack it right on top of the right, the right, the left hip on top of the right. Keep stacking and keep, let's just start to bring that left foot to the ground. Turn your right toes forward, lift your hips up, lift your heart up and reach that left hand overhead. Breathing here. And then slowly, so I like to come out of it by bending my hips, lowering the hips down, turning with the feet and carefully and mindfully coming back to downward facing dog. All right, let's take it one more time together. We'll practice that wild thing one more time. Here we go. Left leg up, bending the left knee, open up the left hip, start to pivot on the right foot, bring that left foot behind you and press into the feet, lift the hips, press your heart up, and then open up from here, reaching that left hand overhead. And keep pressing into the feet, into your right hand, and then slowly lower the hips down. So we're bending the hips, lowering the hips down to the ground, pivoting from the feet, and unraveling from here. So good. Let's come down to our knees and take a seat. Ah, so good. So we're gonna do a couple more seated poses and that will ah, complete our practice. So let's take it into Gomukhasana. So we're going to, first we'll start, we're sitting on our seat, knees are bent. We're gonna take the left heel to the right hip. We're gonna cross the right leg over the left. And so from this position, I press into, I come forward onto my hands and I shimmy my thighs together, open my feet out wide so my hips can come beside my heat, my Heels can come beside my hips. Okay, so now we're gonna take our arms up. So the right leg is crossed over the left. Now we're gonna bend the left elbow. So now the left elbow is up. So you can stay here and take that right hand and just guide that left elbow up to the sky. Or you can take 
the right arm, reach it back with your palm facing back and then reach around and take the bind. And you can also use a strap to help you if you can't bind your fingers together, but I'm clasping my hands. I'm sitting up really tall, so we're going to squeeze our inner thighs together. Root down through the sitting bones and lengthen up through the crown of your head. It's going to give you a moment to really feel this pose. So begin to close your eyes, focusing on the third eye center. If you want to see if folding forward is available to you, you can feel how that is in your body. And then slowly come on up. We're going to release our hands. And now we're going to release the legs. Let's take a minute here and bring your hands behind you and just windshield wiper your knees. All right, super. Now we are going to bend the right knee and place the right foot beside the left hip. Cross the left leg over the right. Now I'm going to come onto my palms and shimmy my legs together and then sit back on to my sitting bones. Hug those leg, those feet in towards your hips and sit up really tall. So begin to feel your sitting bones rooting down. Take your arms out to a T, bend the right elbow. Take the left hand to the right elbow and just open up that right arm here. Getting into the right shoulder. Sit up really tall. It's often easy to like hunch over here, but we wanna counteract any hunching because people do it enough on computers and cell phones. Ah, let's just open up our chest here. Take the left hand out palm facing backwards and reach around and see if you can maybe find your hands together and clasp them or use a strap to help assist you. Sit up really tall here, feeling your sitting bones rooting down. Close your eyes and begin to shift your gaze over your third eye. I'm just going to be quiet as you focus in this pose. Full, steady breaths. From here, if there's space and you want to try to fold forward, go ahead. And slowly inhale up. We'll release our hands. Oh. And then we'll release our legs. From here, we're going to take it into Baddha Konasana. So draw the soles of your feet together. Bring them in as close to your hips as you can. And let your knees open. If your knees are really high up here, you're going to want to sit up on a 
blanket or a block just to elevate your hips. So open up your feet like a book and inhale, lift through your heart. So lift your through the crown of your head, roll the shoulders back to keep your collarbones broad. And then just start to reach forward with your heart. You're hinging at the hips here. No force here and just relax into the pose. And let your body open with ease. No force here. Just allow your breath to relax your body and as your body relaxes, your hips will start to open up. We're going to slowly come out of the pose. Bring your knees gently together and roll on to your back. Good. Coming all the way to your back. Let's, from here, we're just going to draw the knees together and open up the feet wide on our mat. Place your one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. Big breath in, exhale. Go ahead and take another breath in. Exhale. And the next, bring our knees up and then slowly extend the legs out into Shavasana. Turn the palms up to the sky. Let the legs just completely relax open. And take a few moments to find the peace and calm in your body. Just surrendering as much as you possibly can to the present moment. Slowly begin to deepen your breath. Bringing movement to your fingers and toes. Draw your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big hug here. 
and then roll on to your side and then let yourself come up to a seated position. Coming back to the cross-legged position. Just taking a minute to notice how you're feeling from the practice. Take a big breath in and then exhale. And taking this peaceful feeling into the rest of your day. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste.